It is spring. It's time for planting. We are in Sugar House at a viewer's home that needs a little bit of a makeover. I'm with Jeff from Mill Creek Gardens, and we're starting by the preparing that we have to do with what it's kind of a mess. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the, the it's a little overgrown, a little shady, and so to start off with, we. Uh, we, we have to prep the sites, and the biggest thing is to uh, call blue stakes first before you do the, your digging to make sure you know where your lines are. Yeah, that's a good idea. Otherwise, you're spending more time on trying to fix something that you don't need to yeah, in the first place. Yeah, okay. you don't want to do that. Then we're cleaning up because we have some, wow, a lot of things to pull out from the fall and the winter. Yeah, yeah, and if you're going to redo a yard, you want to. it's best to clear everything out first that you don't want so that you know where you're going to be going with it. Is that, um, do you take a rake, shovel? Like, how did you, I mean, how long does it take to clear out something like this in a front yard? This could take a few days. Uh, there's uh, large shrubs back here, it is quite overgrown, so there's been a lot of work done on this so far. All right, so now we get to decide what we're putting in the yard because, yep, and yep. it's, it's, is that fun for you that, to get That's to plan? That's the fun part. That's the fun part. So the homeowner actually came over to Mill Creek and, uh, and she talked about the problems that she had. She wanted a woodland garden. Which, if you look at this, is a beautiful woodland, and it's she wanted. It's so pretty, but there's light and there's shade. Yeah, so you have a lot of dappled, a lot of changes in here, and she wanted a very informal look, and so, so we, working with that, we actually picked out three different plants today. Okay, so this one is going back here with a few back here. Right. What, what is this? It's this so gorgeous. This is a rhododendron. Uh, these are plants that here in Utah loved being in the shade. And they love acidic soils. And fortunately, with these big pine trees, we got both of that. So this is a perfect. So this plant is a for good one area. for this. So does this come up every year? This will bloom every year, and it is evergreen. It's gorgeous. That color. And then we're going to put this in in a corner over there. And what is this? This is another. I mean, color is what you want, right? Yes. And this is an Ann magnolia, which is a very hardy magnolia. And I love to hear that word, hardy, because <laughs> you don't want to plant stuff and then kill it. I mean, you would like it. You like it to be able to survive. Right, right. And this is actually a new introduction. It's um, I've found this to be a very, very hardy species, and uh, and in here we're right by a driveway, so we don't want it to get too big. Right. And we're also dealing with uh, sun and shade. So this is a tree that will tolerate both situations very well. You're so good at planning. Okay, so then. You can't just dig a hole. We actually have to plant. That's not just digging and putting it in. There's dirt and there's soil, and you've explained that to me before. Right, what right. What kind of soil do we need for planting these things? Well, the, the soil here is a little bit depleted because of the, all the trees and everything going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this acid planting mix to the hole as we backfill. I'm, okay. I'm going to mix about one part of planting mix to one part of native soil to improve the situation and also uh, help the roots of these trees and shrubs move out much quicker. Gosh, it's nice to have a big bucket like this that you can take out some of the dirt and the soil that's already there to mix with this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's the best way to do that. And there's also like a booster, you were saying, that you could use to make the plants have, it's like a caffeine little co cup of coffee for plants. Yes, yes, and that will be the root stimulator, and that will be to help move those roots out quicker. The quicker you can get these, the uh, plants rooted out, the better, because, you know, when summers come along here, they're, they're hot. Jeff, how deep do I want to put the plant in into the soil? So I'm just going to pull this out. You do not want this any deeper than the top of this root ball. Okay. That's that's where you want your, your uh, hole. I like to go twice as wide as that so that you can backfill with the proper soil. Good idea. But but no deeper than, than that root ball. Okay. And then and to, as far as care, taking care of it, um, I'm just watering. I mean, is that all I'm doing right now? At this moment, you're, you want to keep it very well watered, and uh, we'll show you how to, to do a uh, well around each plant so you can make sure the water actually gets into the root ball and not uh, just all over the soil around the plant. That's the thing about this time of year and Mill Creek Gardens. As you go, you talk to Jeff, you make your plan, and then he can help you execute it. And I always learn stuff when I talk to Jeff because it's, I'm not, I, I'm not as, I don't have a green thumb, see? I kill things, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting smarter when, when you're in charge. Yeah, so let us, uh, if you have trouble spots, let us uh, take care of it for you and we'll help you out. All right, head over to Mill Creek Gardens and talk to Jeff. Make your plan and make your spring dreams come true. We'll be right back.